So guys, of course, you know that I'm a very huge fan of cars and I love the way that the cars are made to operate. And in this sense, one, one day I was going through my friend called Driving Approach. I don't know his actual name. And when I went there, he was explaining the types of transmission system. He said automatic. I don't know how many CVT. He said a number of them. And then I asked, I told him, bro, you have chosen to ignore dual clutch transmission system which is one of the most conventional transmission system in modern cars and or in or in most of the sportier versions of the car and so simply what is dual clutch transmission system dual clutch transmission system as the word might say is is a is a sort of transmission system in which it has two sets of gears and each set of gear has a clutch and this clutch is set in such a way that it controls or engages gears which have which has a particular set of set of set of gear numbers for instance the the the, the first the, the first clutch will control gear number 1 gear number 3 gear number 5 gear number 7 and the other one will control 2 4 6 8 assuming that that specific car is an eight-speed gearbox gearbox car. Then, if it is a seven-speed, of course. So, if for instance, is controlling one three five seven, and the other is controlling two four six eight. What this simply means is that when the when the car is engaging gear number one, the other set of gear gears which are being controlled by the secondary plate is usually pre-selecting gear number two. So the moment you are you are done needing gear number one, the car will switches the car will the, the transmission system will set itself to gear number two. Even when you, you're not using it, the moment you're done with gear number one, it will pre-select itself to gear number two. And the moment the car will need gear number two, the gear number two is already ready. And then you'll shift to gear number three while while still still while still still in gear number two. And the car is always reading the next gear that you might need so gear number two number three is already being pre-selected by the other plate when you go to four the five like third so anytime you need a certain gear as much as it is engaging the, the certain gear the other gear is engaging the other set of gear so that once you're done with gear number two the gear number three is already there and then these two will go and and, and be preparing for gear number four and then such a unit that controls how those gears are being selected is known as mechatronic unit so mechatronic is like the brain that controls the sets of gears so dual clutch transmission system and as many people would call it twin clutch system comes in conventional ways and mostly in all modern uh, in all German cars, you'll still find gear, um, dual clutch, dual clutch transmission, and it comes with various brands. Because, for instance, Audi, I think Audi call it a Stronic, or is it Mercedes? And then uh, Volkswagens will call it DSG. Then uh, BMW will call it ZDF, and then uh, like that depending on the type of the car you're using but most cars they use that one the reason as to why as to why this sometimes is better than most majority of the cars is the manner by which it shifts gear to the next one and makes it look so seamless that you don't even have to struggle using it even the people who tell me that they prefer manuals if you ask me i think manual uh, uh, uh dual clutch transmission system is best among the automatic uh, gears uh, i mean uh, automatic transmission and is the best when it comes to the manual sort of gearbox because in fact dsg or dual clutch transmission dct is some sort of two sets of manual gear ge manual gearbox the conventional one and then when it comes to the ability to pre-select for you it looks like it is the it is it's like um, the modern automatic so it's the best of manuals and is the best of automatics so if you ask me i think this is the best transmission system 
to use.